Sorry that I couldn't join in my outing. No worries, friend. I hope you take care of yourself. All right. Oh, is today the pilot? You know. It's just like I'm a little No, it's the prince. <laughs> it's the prince. Let me just grab my box of tissues. Oh, I've never seen That's the pilot. Just, just don't push yourself, all right, what? baby? What? What are you saying? Well, no, no, I'm fine. No. My nose I had I am the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And then I showed you a little bit last time. Yeah, that was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. on the recording. This is definitely going to be a different experience to what you're used to. I know, Prince. What do you mean I'm used to? I'm just nervous about that one. Yeah, this one. Uh, like oh, the little one? Fuck, fuck, Don't fuck, worry, fuck. Yeah. Don't worry, Panda. I'll be in time yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't seen yeah, that turn yeah. I don't know it has, but I think it works up. I don't know. I don't remember how. Do you have like a set of notes? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. More like it just doesn't work. It breaks. We have a big panda, a mermaid, a robot, a I don't know a giant robot. Kirby, uh, I wasn't. You have to friend me on Discord for me to send you the link. You have it set up that way. I sent you a reply. Okay, I'll I'll add my phone. Give me a second. Yeah, I'll do that and I'll send you the link. Thank you. Yeah. My, uh, I'm gonna be so to you to it's just, uh, it, take, it takes a like a solid minute for my phone to load up, so apologies for the swords from Trajan carry if a Trajan could carry swords. Yeah, it's fine, I don't think yeah. we're starting yeah. too soon. Uh, yeah, I'm actually not in full body right now, surprise, uh -huh. guys. Oh, really? How much? On the wrong yeah. server. I'm just gonna walk up just in time to hear this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, a Trajan could carry all the swords if a Trajan could carry swords. Look in your dirt. The answer is yes, Geo. I see. The little bell icon. Well, you see, right there, Skullzy Ghost, right there. You are not showing up. I write it and I open it. I am already standing. You did not get that. Ten. Nine. Almost like we just made myself when the story's talking. So seven. Hear me sniffing me. Six. Five. Four. They do look fairly Three. Two. One. I actually joined this. That would've been cool. Travelers, your attention please. Tonight's event will now begin. Oh, 
It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Welcome to our point of contact to the narrative domain. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the Prince. You are welcome to record tonight's event or stream. And my friends, dear travelers, you're in for a treat because the air is thick with ether. Tonight, the greatest tour guide to ever walk the halls of the narrative domain is with us. Yes, my friends, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Trey Gem. Good job. What about the this story? It's a cult. Is it cold? 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 Good evening, friends, wanderers of the narrative halls. As mentioned, my name is Trajim, and I will be your storyteller tonight. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, there are roles. Well, one rule. My friends, I kindly ask that whenever we stop for narration, that you all become silent. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. I am about to drop a portal to tonight's event world. Friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal that it is clear to do so. Those in front of me, kindly stand aside. But I'm saying that even if even if you disconnect or crash, you can always like rejoin. It's pretty big group today. All right, so no worries. It's a decent size. I've seen much bigger. <laughs> oh no. Pretty big for me. Well, my friends, wait for me on the other side of the portal. Okay, okay. And now we can go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> If anything, they'll hear uh, Ethereum. Where's Ethereum? Come back! Give me your Ethereum. Guarding my entry to the handbook. Once a certain somebody finishes my model, yes, I will be submitting my MP4 bad. I sneeze. Yes, I hate it when I sneeze. Why, you're not currently in the handbook, are you? That's correct. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, Wait, what? Handbook? Handbook? Like, just do your something. Uh, do your stuff. Are you part of the Discord? I'm not in yeah, the Discord. Yeah, I'm in the I'm Discord. I'm not the Discord. You're trying to get something. Oh, yeah. I just You're already in the handbook. I just have to update it. When I update it, you will be in the handbook. <laughs> Uh, Captain, Panda, when I update the handbook, you will be in it. Where do you put your 
put you in there. Put you in. Put him I've already put you in there. You are already in it. You're already in it. You're already there. And Given my answer to my first question last. Yeah, so it's easy to do this because we were princes. Oh no. My reply. I forget the exactly what the question I think mine was. Yeah, if you. Um, if you crash, would you like one to of happen in the future or something like that? I uh, catch up with it. Uh, well. Yeah, his avatar is. corpses. And you didn't get caught. How it works. Yeah. Um, if you crap, interesting. Panda. 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 You are on the first yes. page of the profiles. For travelers. Yes. Once it updates, you will be in there. When am I? When am I in the? When am I going to I be will, in the handbook? I will, you know what? This is technically going to be a minor update, but just for you, I'm going to announce it and say, "There you go, Panda. You're in the handbook Five now." Five dearest <laughs> travelers, please come forward. You can clearly hear the tour guide. It's, it's just, Three. Please move forward to where you can clearly two, hear the tour guide. I'll just leave it there for now. Okay. One. Friends and welcome to the narrative of the prince. Thank you. Before we begin, there are some specific notes I would like to relay to you. Please listen carefully. Take a moment now to adjust your world volume so that you can hear distant waves. Please make sure that the button to your left is orange. Do not use this button during this event. Please Turn off all avatars except for the tour guides if you are experiencing lag. Those in desktop mode, press the tap button. Those in VR, hold your right hand above your head and press the menu button. You will see this world's custom menu come up. You can use the fast travel menu. In conjunction with the tour guide's help, to catch up to the group if you need it at any point. I will announce whenever we reach a new chapter in the story. One last note for VR users. This tour has some strong color filters in some parts. Now, my friends, if we are all ready to descend, please Follow me. Well, boy. Oh. Yeah. Among us, among us, among us. Okay, I just took Sus. a Zyrtec. Sus. 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 Call my allergies. Sus. Dry everything up. For some purple polo right about now. Sus. The flesh mortals. Wait, where is the bed? Oh, there's the bed. I'm not gonna look down. Alright, I'm not gonna look down. They're the only one of them, Highlander. Are you aware? It's not too far. Okay. You're safe. You need to go. We need to play ED again sometime. Sorry about it. The only thing oh, is, yeah. is just. ED. You can't go behind the tour guide. Really, it's dangerous. Okay, there's a guide of it somewhere. Where, where's the bed? It looks oh. like we're an egg. Oh, okay. It really does look. Travelers. Do that, without further ado, the story 
begins. and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom, everybody heard the ocean, but that didn't make sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. This entire tour shares one wow. brain cell, I swear. This room should definitely be a different map so I can be so I can be my home. Chapter one. I in a castle tower. Alone in a dark chamber. A young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid. His mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions, memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, Nightmares plague him. Guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches. Blue faces strangled by seaweed. Blooded, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his imagination by the comfort of his bedchamber. But the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, 
slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. This meal on the cabinet, likely cold as stone, the thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It is a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his father, Light King. All he has is this pendant, his mother, and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. chill of night begins to win fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night. That's me. Well, it might be because of the fact that you have... Is it one of the guard um, making sure he has the flag? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head towards the door. <coughs> You're still awake? Prince sighs and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems on edge, and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is this mother the queen sending him away is he finally going to prison for what he did but none of the questions leave his lips he just sits there useless listen his brother approaches the bed this is serious put on your cloak take whatever you don't want to leave behind someone someone is after us and he turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? The Aegis? What about... No. There's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Ludician pendant 
into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway beyond. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. Jenkins. Soup. Oh no, we don't set up the soup until later. Soup, brothers. Ah, you, oh, you're right. He's, don't want to burn down the castle with yeah, soup. Yeah, he's yeah, trying for soup. We don't want to burn down the castle. Yeah. Like you know what? You're correct, sir. <laughs> I found a way out. I found <laughs> Uh, people are already talking about suits. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's perfect. Exactly. <laughs> I've also brought marshmallows, so... Nice. Ah, hell yeah, let's soup. burn down the castle, then. Cook the marshmallows. Uh, and you can't do anything faster, <laughs> so I'm gonna punch the scene. Oh, I don't think I can free you burn down, down the castle. I don't think uh, that... Oh, oh don't the cut me with the moon like Grace or Slow. She didn't see. That's fear of magic damage there. Yeah, you should have very large gist. Yes, I did. What? Ow. That's how you gave me his head. No. Oh. Sorry. Time to make my escape. Pizza tower. What's that clicking sound? Yep. Good game. My friends, may I have your attention? The story must continue. <sighs> the prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle, quiet thus far. But here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. Quick, behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. Not a moment later, the door swings open, the sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. This figure staggers past them in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the each the prince's heart flutters. But something's wrong. She looked injured, and how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up his brother, expecting him to go after his mentor. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand instead, and they use the side door. My friends, this way. I know. Are they muted? Yeah. Let's see if I can get some decent altitude this time. I think I can manage to jump on these boxes half the time. Okay. Well, at least my allergies are drying up now. Oh, Zyrtec is a lifesaver. They always oh. come back. My goodness. A really bad climbing Are game you? today. Let me up! Thank you, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't realize that your bolt gave off light. I mean... It doesn't, you know. Uh, it was glowing. It looks like it. Yep, it looks like. Friends, continues. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past Chills and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open book. Some old red time. Who is after us? The brother stops. <coughs> the oracle is dead. The inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, 
breathless, afraid. I saw it happen, and he saw me. The prince stumbled back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle, dead, and the inquisitor is. A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. But, but the oracle said that he is the chosen one. The oracle said that he survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it if he just went to Lysia and found it. Brother steps back and dusts his hands. Here, help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drop by the shelf away from the wall. And behind it, low to the ground, is an old door, a secret passage. This will lead outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? 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 How can he be ready? No. No, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream. A nightmare, the oracle can't be dead. Any moment now, he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be right there, and for once, he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. Hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're scared. I am too. But without us, our Lazarus has no ruler after Mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this, alright? It's going to be okay. We... We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to not before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, we must crawl in behind them. This way. Um, here we go. Where did Proto go? Yeah, it is with these fires. No, the fires are tended to by none other than Wah. I just know why you could the, fi the fire lord owes a butch. You're a coffee man. Yes, you are. I am coffee. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> can we stop today? Oh, oh do 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 that's gonna go in me oh. first, thank you very much. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway, and they find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't directly recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent. A great silver elk. It lands, pauses, and turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. 
The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form, and the forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways in which he can respond to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you all one minute to discuss what he should do, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. Distract because autism. Well, I heard detach. Yeah. I heard detach. Yeah, detach. Uh, I mean, detach is the... Detach. Trust me, I heard detach. You have to read between the lines, yeah, but it's there. Detach. You definitely do know. Dude, no. Fuck you. Detach. Perfect. I did hear what? a detach and... Get the top and rip. Destiny. Yeah. Hypercube lies option. Hypercube always. Guys, the hypercube always lies. There's always this option. There's always a there's more, there's, What if there's six? What if there's a. Princess get captured? That's a hypercube option. Who's moaning aggressively to the microphone? Ah, oh, yes. The sixth option. D's. My friend, your time to discuss has come to an end. <laughs> Someone quote that. Someone quote that. Someone quote that. I shall call upon one of you now to give an answer. And that one is going to be none other than another lurker. Do you speak, friend? Yes. Another lurker. What is the best answer you have heard? Uh, from what I've heard, it was detached. Detach was not one of the four options. Are you certain you want to choose this? No, sorry. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It was. Okay, then yes, I will stick with Detach. Detach. Such conviction. Lurker, your choice has sealed their fate and this is what happens. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observed his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he sees the truth. He remains in the moonlight forest. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The great elk Stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again and the shadow cowers. And then the shadow turns in the direction of the prince. And the prince looks back. Back at the darkness. The darkness as black as the far side of the moon. This vision the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden past. During this time, the prince is roughly aware of his brother avoiding some zealots and silver Aegis who is working with them. My friends, Please, follow me this way. Holy shit, the world was in 4K now. Yarmid, what options have we picked? A third? One. 
Well, I... crap. Do you mind if I pair up with you for the, uh, the, the quest? A brief reminder for regulars here. Please try not to run ahead of me as I go from map to map. It may confuse the newcomers and accidentally skip ahead of something. Oh, you know what might have happened? Might have had a connection there, because we still see him in the map there. He's probably trying to get back right now. I am glad to hear it. Let us wait a moment for everyone to arrive. Please keep me updated on the nose. So we have one. Oh, okay. Mac, you're just jealous because you don't have one. <laughs> what? That's the thing I'm sensitive about. <laughs> Whoa. I am the elephant one. Jeez, a big Friends, one. Oh, that's the a story continues. I so ask for your attention. Get Chapter 2 A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through a crack in the shutters, accompanied the gentle grey of dawn. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust-covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired. He is hungry. And his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about the sword, and he wants to ask about the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor, but his mouth is dry, and his jaw aches, and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at it, the leather carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he cannot. You think I attacked the Aegis, the brother says. You think I killed the Oracle? I didn't think you could hear that. Well, I did do one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you, you must understand I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation. But I overheard that conversation. I overheard what they said about you. The Oracle called you Ocean Born. The Inquisitor is... He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. And I saw fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. He thinks he was sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He thinks... Well, I don't really understand it. Not entirely, but... What I do know is, if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor. Including Mother. This way... This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? 
the prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brother's. Something about his voice, the way he's talking, he's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Ladisian pendant in his pocket. All right, look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. Come on. We need to keep moving. It won't be safe here long. We need to get out of Moravos and then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies, someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand, and the prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them my way out this way no honestly I really want to know what happens if the prince the fight seriously have you heard of the high elf big time Good day, I sir. Swap it more out of ours. Oh, alright. Okay, alright. Be your avatar. Have you heard of the high elves? Yes, sir. Must have been annoyed. Treacher, have, have you seen Pineapple Panic? Pineapple Panic, my favorite anime. How did you know? Like a little bit more of what's in the. I had a feeling. Yes, boy. I ask for your attention. The story must continue. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up. Ignorant of what had inspired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second story windows. Farmers set up stores to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces while innkeeps sweep the past of chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots, dressed in red, approach a pair of city watchmen. There be no one of the villains, that the princes are be brought before the Viner Church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir has been compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced nations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he Queen's orders? If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the Crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are. The brother says, don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up, and don't let anyone see your things. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are, and we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to get to... Hmm. All right. 
I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Moravos, but they are going to need your help. come forth. Woo. NPCs, change into your avatars now. Friends, these will be playing the NPCs, the city guards for this quest. Please take a moment to memorize these names and show their avatars. NPCs, please take your positions in Moravos. Make sure you are somewhere where you cannot hear me, as I must continue the rules. Hey. Now, travelers, this quest requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, or if you think the NPCs know you personally too well, or you want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, Please stand behind the boxes behind me. Everyone else, please take a moment to form pairs and stand in your pairs clearly. Ether, I'm not prepared with you. I like the episode where everyone formed pineapples instead of pears. After a record of the beach episode, the beach episode, which one? That's the second episode. You're ahead of me. I need to catch up. Apologies, I should have tagged up with a spot. Uh, Travelers, your attention. Is there anybody who does not have a pair? Please stand below me. Equalization, Skull, Pack Lover, Devi, Zoro. All of you who are standing below me, please take a moment to form pairs now among yourselves. Have you done this before? This is gonna be my third time. Nalu and Skull, you are a pair. Equalization and Debbie, you are a pair. Are there three left? Smiles, do you have a pair? I'm their pair. Tricky and Zoro, you are a pair. Everyone is accounted for. My friends, the rules are as follows. Please listen carefully. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be roaming the city, and they will question you as pairs, so please stay together in your pairs. If they address you, you must answer their questions. No other conversation is allowed between the travelers and the NPCs. This is what you will all be doing. You will have this time to wander the city of Moravos, together as pairs. You may talk amongst yourselves or with other travelers. When questioned, you must all answer the NPC's questions truthfully. Except the princes who must lie. And the princes are a secret pair chosen by me right now. Tonight, I'm going to choose two pairs of princes. Pair one, Devi and Equalization. You must lie to the guards, you understand. We got that. Good luck. 
and pair two. Aya Eri at the back. Who is your pair? I think it's been a while since I've chosen you, Selen. Is that correct? Two weeks ago, but Two weeks ago, if you don't mind, I'm going to choose someone who hasn't the prince for a while. Or at all. Zoro and Tricky Cat have been the prince in recent history. No. I have. Uh, I did it with the Magic Coco, though. But they're all awesome. Zulai, who is your partner? Smiles is my partner. Lazulai and Smiles, you are the second pair. You must lie to the guards. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Now, no role playing is required. You'll be answering questions about your real life. None of you may give any indication whatsoever about who the prenders are. You may attempt to hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious behavior. I'm going to give you all 10 minutes to run a city of Mobos. At the end of this time, you will hear the town bell. Please, then, come and find me. After this point, the NPCs will privately discuss which pairs they think we're playing as princes and lying to them. Your goal is to keep their identities secret. My friends, your ten minutes starts now. Those who are skipping the quest, please follow me to them. How exciting! I'm I'm well familiarized with this mix zealots. I used to work there before it became a bit In here, friends. You have endless to spend however he plays.
Come on, Nick. One, two, three. I don't know if you can hear me. Come on, Nick. Pop. One, one, two, three. But you have no right being that handsome. You do, Drajan. Don't forget. Thank you for the bouncer. Your law breaking handsomeness. Is it um, behind it?
comes away. Wait, wait, Trajan. Uh, I have a wait. Horsheen, another one. I have a serious question to ask. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Interesting question. I suppose it is not because the two pieces are joined. A sandwich requires them to be separate. So, yeah, the breads are connected, but. Do you know where the, two, the secret key in Excel is? A hot dog five not seconds a sandwich. Drink it's a taco! I heard there were clues to it in the anime. Or pineapple panic. Pineapple panic. That's where it is. I need to watch it to find. I need to watch it to find. Oh, it's not a sandwich. It's a toss. Because that's the other half of the response. Trajim has seen more episodes of Pineapple Panic than I have. He would be a better sword than I. I think that's the hot dog is sick. I don't know how to respond to this. It doesn't follow any logic. That's so insightful. Everything is sweet once you chew it. Pardon? Oh, mystical cube storytelling, what is your wisdom? Yes. I mean... More wisdom? Are you sure you can handle more wisdom? Yes. More wisdom for the Skull Z Ghost. Thank you for being my partner. All lines count to ten. Before you scalp, when someone is sharing something sensitive with you. Friends, we are gathered here today to wait for the NPCs to discuss who they think the imposters were. Let's give them a minute. Should we, uh, should we tell jokes yeah. in the meantime? I can't stop hearing. You know, Trey Jim, I want to hear your sense of humor. Come on, tell us from your jokes. Here's my sense of humor. Alright, hey Gene, can we hear some of your jokes? A joke? Yes. He's dead, Jim. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I'm trying to read a plot synopsis on the latest episode of Pineapple Panic. I have to show. Go ahead. Go ahead, your joke. Go ahead, tell your joke. No one's stopping you. Okay. Okay. What did one of these I don't know. Nothing, it just waved. I think they're gonna. Uh, I think they're gonna. Okay. Say uh, what, is, what, is, what was the one that was workshop? I want to be prepared for the joke. I'm telling a joke. Lock up, metal jam. Have you made your decision? I'll get a riddle. Oh my god, that was. That was a nice one. 
Uh, oh, what did one wall say to the other wall? Oh, Sorry. I see. Sorry. Travelers, here's a joke for you. Hmm. Ohio? Actually, Ohio. No, that's yeah. no. no. It's so good that it's the only people so who it have told me it's a joke. joke. That's how good it is. I just said it. My friends, the quest has come to a close, and it is time for the NPCs to present their accusation. NPCs, town guards, who inexplicably sound like Sean Connery in the cutscene, which pair do you think were the princes tonight? Wait, what's that scene? For me, I believe the pair is Nyla and Skull. Come on, Nalu. <laughs> Sorry. Every time, every time. <laughs> it's okay. Nalu and Skull. That is the accusation. Did the guards spot the princes, or did both pairs of princes? Get away scot free tonight. <coughs> well, tonight's princes, all four of you, please come forth. Yeah. That's right. Oh, Lazuli, Smiles, Equalization, and Devi. All four Hold of them. They multiplied when you weren't looking. They truly again. did, because I was only able to question two of them. The power of my they were in two separate pairs. I choose two pairs of princes tonight. They got oh. skull free. <laughs> now. <laughs> the only thing That's I'm driving is your babies. <laughs> this story must continue. I ask for your attention once more. It is time to get comfortable. Was it the pineapple? Or the sandwich? What came it's first? It's God. At least that's what just a big bomb. As he walks across Moravos, the prince tries to shrink back into the cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly, he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on bread. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is there, talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to the brothers. The brother backs up quietly and guides them both around another way. As they leave, the prince glances over at the old couple, and he can see the old woman looking at him. She points the guard in the opposite direction. A short while later, the prince stops. That noise. What is that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. <laughs> An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Amidst vague Towering structures, a blue bird flits, dancing from corner to corner, desperate. Giving pursuit is a red feline, stalking calm, peering in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location and everything begins to redden 
my friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Ascend, divulge, dwell, and distract. I'll give you a minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give your best answer. Your time starts now. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard, but I heard detach. I heard detach. Yeah, I heard detach too. My arm is fucked. Are you sure that you're not just double jointed? No, I'm actually curious what happens if we say destroy. Exactly. I mean, I am too, but destroy sounds cool. All you gotta know is that we pick destroy. If you say destroy, the tour ends right here, right now. Or does it? I mean, what does he know? You can't tell me to look curious, dear, but what happens if we pick destroy? I'm just not missing the hypercube. Curiosity killed the rat. The good ending brought it back. My friends, your time of discussion has ended. I am going to call upon the boundless wisdom of Daffidwaja, and then some kanji. Do you speak, friend? Yes, I do speak. <clears throat> Greetings. What would you like Greetings. the prince to do in response to this vision? I would like the prince to detach. Did you say detach? I did indeed. Daffidwaja, that was not one of my answers, are you sure? I'm as sure as my name is Daviv. That's what I said. Very well, the choice has been made, and the story <laughs> continues. Then, then destroy. Next time, destroy. Save your destructive tendency oh, to the village and create of Minecraft. The prince takes a step back. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside its bounds. With this clarity, he sees the truth. He remains among the strange structures fleeing from the fireborn beast. The red intensifies, and with it comes an unnatural warmth, glowing, rising, burning. But it doesn't need to, for this exists in the prince's mind, and his mind is his own. He stops running. He turns back. The fireborn is there. The prince takes control. He looks down into his own hands and realizes that he can defy the power of his enemy. He can defy. And in this vision, the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back through the rest of the city. The prince is vaguely aware of being taken into the home of a veteran knight with a shimmering sword above the mantelpiece. He is aware of his own brother attacking the friendly veteran before escaping into a hidden passage through the city underworld. friends. Let us follow them.
there. Oh, there, there it is. is. Measure. Okay. Last one in the stinky zealot. Go through the door on the other side, friends. Last, last, last one across is a running no. zealot. Is a running zealot. Thank you. Oh, oh, Easy. The last one over is a stick of cheese that got dropped off the counter and rolled under the fridge and forgotten about for seven weeks. Mm. Oh. Oh. At least they remembered after seven oh, weeks. Fuck. That's true. <laughs> I would still eat you is what I will say, Barbara Campbell. Uh. What the fuck? Okay, alright, thank you. What's this? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Try something real stupid. Can't you can't be a boor. Okay, let's do something stupid. Stupid. Oh, stupid. stupid. I have a Because of the action yes. taken on the break. Yeah, it's on the break. Dude, Chip is on the break, I thought. I've been heavy, so I said hello. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> I mean, curious. Yeah. Soup is on the break, and the break is after we complete the forest. Yeah, that's how oh, you're thinking. Oh, I thought the break usually started with the knees, and like the spine when it comes to age. Yeah. But I heard some kind of like the elbows. I'm ready for some fish soup. Shit, I think you. What the fuck? Oh, I think Pack blocked me. a little later on, because. Okay, so during the break. Have fun. Yeah, I think it's before the break. I think that. So people this. think that this is actually going so to be the break. So Rose has a now. No, yeah, it's oh, so we got the campfire. We got the campfire, we just yeah, the fuck. Yeah, they, 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 they move the break to later. Uh, well, it's not so really a fish soup, know, is it? Like it. Not really right. a fish soup, is it? I'm looking for it, huh? I like fish rotisserie. Why is it blue? Who wants some fish rotisserie? It's it's I survived because the fire was in and burned bread in the fire that was around I'm guys pepperoni. Oh, I think it's burning. <laughs> we can't expect God to do all the work. Ah! Alright, chill out there, honest hearts. I'm in. Oh my god, Pack actually blocked me. That's pretty funny. Really? I'm not I may, oh, I may not know the free fire, but I can give you the book. Also, book. s'mores are amazing. Oh, Pack, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they're oh, awesome. funny. Mega Waluigi. You hear me? <laughs> what? Fish rotisserie. He's awfully quiet. I wonder if I can get away with a song. If you reset your cap, I might. Are you, are you going no. to? Friends, to travelers, oh. your attention, oh. please. The story continues. Chapter 3 It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerged. The underworks tunnel had led them to an old mill, and from there they followed a trails until coming upon the eastern road. Marvos looms in the distance. Gently glowing in the moonlight as the press slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache. His stomach growls. He's tired and he's sore and he's sore in breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that loud. Go back. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you. And then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle owes him. And nobody could disagree. The vile 
our church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then Daisha will invade. People will have to live under one of two monsters. When not going there. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden, and we'll, we'll help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake fort. Do you hear me? We still... Stop it! Stop. Stop. Please. Please, stop. You're scaring me. Sorry. I'm sorry, I, I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen. I'm scaring you. I... I see that. I didn't like to see you so afraid. But I'm doing what must be done. I'm doing... You remember when you were little? And we found that nest in the old tower. We spotted the mother, a blooming, coming back to feed the chicks that evening. We named them as well. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle. Pickle. Little Pickle. And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought so fiercely, but... You asked me why that had to happen. Remember what I said? Ravana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If birds are in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But this cat is sly. It's going to try and trick other animals into helping it. So those two little birds might have to do some things that might seem bad, just so they don't get eaten. They might have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps, or find another cat who will help them. The prince wants. He can see how hard it is for his father. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He has to. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother. He wants to hug him. But he can't bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's cell, brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Laodicea, the sacred lands. We'll go together, just you and me. Would you like it? The prince wipes his face. <laughs> Lydia, really? Do you swear? The brother smiles, and the world gets a little brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross Duke's world in the dark of night, and they're going to need your help. Please follow me. Okay. 
now the fun begins. <laughs> I'm never good at knowing where all the locations of stuff is. I think they change every time. Yeah, don't do they? Worry about yeah, they are randomies. Oh shit, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are randomies. Oh, well, they all go. Oh, no, Somebody in the room recognizes. Yay. my favorite. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you map yes. everything out then. Keep that, keep that. Unless there's like the specific uh, stuff that you can like put pin down. <laughs> yeah. It's generally easy to map but. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget about Welcome to the Duke's World. NPCs, Metal Gen, Lurker, please come forth. Change into your Duke's World avatars now. How very that one looks familiar. scary. Oh, it's my brother. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. Everyone else, stay Is here. Zelda? NPCs, please go through and prepare for the quest. Everyone else, I have rules to convey to you for this second quest. Are they through? Yes. I believe they are through. Troublous. The Duke's Wheel at night is not a safe haven. But it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's Wheel, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources as you can. Each traveler, each of you, has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. You must avoid the Duke's Wheel of Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several cents, costing you valuable time. The Phantom can teleport to any Phantom fire at any point in time. So stay vigilant. You are being observed. Please. Avoid using avatars that are very tiny, very large, and visible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting for you, or stay behind and to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while partaking in this quest. After your five minute timer expires, all the remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Give me a moment to confirm that the NPCs are ready. Your five minutes starts right now. Okay. Let go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, well, that's not.
Yoink. Right here. Somewhere. Okay. Curry's Panda, over here. don't move. I'm coming for you. There's one. There's one over here. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. He is chasing me. And yes, he's still chasing me. <laughs> I, I, I don't worry, I'm clearing, I'm clearing things one at a time. Same. That's what I was saying. I was wondering. Barry. There's the Phantom. Oh, hey, Mr. Phantom, we're here. Over here. Come on. Okay, well, just click on the things. Alright. I need one more berry. I have all of them. I have not. Hmm? I am trying here. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I shall heal you. Play. You know what's better than food? So you know what? Mm. Soup. Soup. Tradition. Soup. Like Ten Soup. seconds Soup. left. Soup. 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 It's empty. See. I call this one the campfire song song. Uh, you know, Let's there you gather go. around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you just sing along. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. C A M P F I R E S O N G song.
Travelers, I have spoken to you. This quest has come to a close. For those interested, as a group, you collected an average of 8.9 resources each. That is nice. the second highest I believe you have ever gotten. Well done. Damn. I'm ashamed of myself, but proud of you all. Very nice. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss cut wrecks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself covering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire and the flames stare back. His face warm, his back old. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. I want it all to end. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. The past few days catch up to him, and within minutes he slips into a deep sleep. rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Across a twilight meadow, a pair of black wolves found long grass whipping by. They're on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. For something else stirs the grass. And though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. A sense of something imminently wrong. A feeling that things are not how they should be. A shadow is in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, well, distract. I will give you one minute to discuss what he should do. Your time starts now. Distract. Divide. Detach. Detach. These nuts. Do you not see the other option? I don't care what the Distance. 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 There'd have to be a D verb. Make a district check. Uh, yes. No one's doing, uh, one outside of the five. Three. Discuss. Do you dream? My friends, your time to discuss is over. I'm going to call upon the one known as Axe the Iron Knight. You speak. I do. Hopefully, we can Very well. Make your choice. 
What will the prince do? Uh, I will admit I was a little distracted during part of the conversation, but I did hear detach. You did hear detach. Yes. Well, you have said the word. Your choice has been lost. There is no going back from here. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. And with this clarity, he can see the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians. They do not seem aware of it at all. It draws closer and closer, ever silent, ever dark, until it reaches the soldiers and it becomes one of them. The shadow has joined them and they are oblivious. The shadow draws its blade and instinctually the prince grabs the grip of his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the dens. It does not strike. And they continue their march with the intruder among them. And before long they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alive. is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking elsewhere. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns the lock. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords with foreign emblems on their shields. Dacians. The brother whispers, gritting his teeth. The veteran said they might be here. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden, or they've already taken it. Maybe I can find their camp, find General, and... He looks down at the prince, and his expression softens. Come on, let's get a closer look. I need to know what they're up to. They gather their things, scoop dirt over the charcoal, and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, patients are dangerously close. This way. Let's hope this wall is fixed. Oh, what wall? We're going to build a wall. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I don't know how it took me this long, but the shadow is the brother. What? I mean, look. You didn't, you didn't just read it. Okay. Ether. 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 <laughs> We get it, you're a bit slow, don't worry. I'm sorry, I do not Did you really just that? that? Would you like me to vocalize it for you? Do it, do it, man. <laughs> you don't even need to ask, just fucking do it. The story. 
the break is just head, friends. Fear not. The brothers hide in the Agreth. The outer walls of Felden bloom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate, bringing supplies inside. So Felden has already been taken by Dacia. There are too many of them, the brother whispers, but maybe... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself just a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Seek to just run and fight them? How can you not see him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll fight you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand. And they wait. And they wait. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a sword and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, then yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give taste. Two remain, and they seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction they all went. Wait. It's my sword. He might need it. But it's too late. He unsheathed it just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes and holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. No, no, lose interest. Turn around, go away. Leave me alone, please, please. Hey, there's someone in the trees. The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He has Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around the tree under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer? Are they getting further away? You can hear their boots pounding the ground, their swords slashing through the branches, their heavy breaths on the back of his neck. No, 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 leave me alone. He keeps running, and he slips, suddenly, on muddy ground, and then... The ground vanishes, the forest rises, careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold water. Friends, please follow me. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll pass halfway, but yeah. Or a little past halfway. Honestly, yeah, it depends on what our representative yeah. decides. Hey, so, soup time. Uh, uh, I think uh, I hey. did catch the camp yes, last night, right? Not really. <laughs> the black <laughs> screen of death. He going for a deep okay. My friends, at this point in the story, we have a designated break. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. Please, then, put back here for the story to continue. Oh, heck.
I feed the horses quick. Bath time. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, so it's okay. I'm going to Okay, I'm going to go into. I'm going to. I'm not the only one who crashed a lot of. I never thought of it that way. One, four, six. Look, a wine machine fish. Does anyone have pineapple disease? Six, eight, five, four, six. I'm sorry, I only have marshmallows. One, seven, five, Imagine leaving food after a swamp. Friends, your attention, please. That's actually quite fair. I Travelers. Think of it. 
the break time is coming to a close. Those across the bridge, let me throw a tomato in your direction. Yes. Yeah. My friends, the break has come to a close. Please remain somewhere where you can hear me. The story must continue. Story. Chapter 4 The prince comes to him. Something is pulling on his leg. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it and unexpected in retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. He takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up, up at the town's structures and... The sword. Ah, oh, it's still here. Firmly in its sheath. He makes sure it's out of sight gets to his feet and heads into the town of Felden. My friends, please, kindly follow me. so far away that is a wonderful question of magic uses hook shot <laughs> we need operation move your hiney friends the story continues your attention please Prince hears a commotion ahead. There is a line of people holding wooden bowls outside a door. He can see Asian soldiers within, giving out the same amount of food for each person. Next to mine is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may. I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and hands. Please, sirs. Oh, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. What does she get more? Peace, peace orders the soldier. He regards the oddly woman carefully. Hmm, fine. I've extra, but they're just this once. Oh, bless you. Vana, bless you. And here, seems like you're having trouble walking. The soldier offers her a wooden stick. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself, quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to be around them, but they block his exit. 
he peers up carefully those faces well look who we have here zealots the prince feels panic bubble up inside him he wants to shout for help but there are so many people about Dacians might help the zealots a fight might break out innocent people will get hurt no no there's too much risk Calm now, lad. No more any. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, hello. Mm -hmm. It just, it just sort of figure it up, Aaron. Wait for the tour guy, wait for the tour. Kirby, don't forget. Pick it up. Come this way. There Pick you it go. Up. Oh shit, they already have a model for that? Pick Kirby, please don't stand right in front of me. I have controls that I need to operate. Thank you. Okay. The arm is. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to... You were asking that yeah. guy at the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kirby, you're going to right now. steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching, silent. Fireborn, says one of the zealots, we have the prince. A shadow slowly turns. It is a titan of a man with a broad chest, square shoulders, draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like a statue, chiseled and withered, bearing a fearsome grin. Ah, oh, the young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. It matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing, else why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches, the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn wielder of the infernal miracles. And you, you and I, shall go. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No, the death I see is that of Dacia. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Dacia. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakefort and started the whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? You 
see it. You see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its maw. You destroyed Lake Fort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness it. That is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. That is one chosen by God. It has been re revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna has a place just for you. Lazarus has a place for you. I have for you a gift. A crown. Your crown. Not that of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Sire, not that is your potential, place it upon your head, feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circlet offered to him, two parallel bears with a dull shine, otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Dacia, the prince watches as the circlet glows with a lower. The war with Dacia is his fault, the Inquisitor is right, he must be right, he must be. Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? I do. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes eye contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up, places it upon his head, and the Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again. But this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here, and it is hellfire. Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams, the is back. And then... Has intensified. Darkness returns. And in this darkness, embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. Prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? No. Rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere embers, another stands, towering, indomitable, Fireborn. And the...
inquisitor speaks, and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come, we have much work to do. Almost heaven, West Virginia, mountains, country road, let's go. Okie dokie, I get it. Mamma mia! Take me home. Here we go! Yoshi wa, Nasha wa hotondo awata. East Virginia. East Virginia. My friends, your attention please. The story continues. The prince and the inquisitor an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted, distant, and the Prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts, losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire, a lot of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocks his attempts at remembering. Something else is in there, in his mind. The dustborn was right. You are the chosen one, granted influence upon this world, like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God. That very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has been confessed with Dacians. But even before then, Felden already deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Varsith, Halburn, Oradeo, Madias, Felden, may the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths.
rising to meet him. Just up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of water. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are smudges of beige and grey. And the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches in and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. And a face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed. Peaceful. Beautiful. Delicate. Porcelain white. He watches her sleep. <clears throat> My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute to decide. Detach. I don't know about you all, but I have to defy our enemies. 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 Defy our Defy our Defy Although call me crazy, whatever you're going to option called Defy. Whatever that is. Defy. No, you're mistaken. It's Joe. It's Joe. It was just, it's it was just bees, but that, that's, that's later. Mm. Wait, you're telling me a shrimp for this rice? <laughs> Steve Jobs. No, you're obviously missing the six <laughs> option, you guys. It's Joe. Um, who's Joe? <laughs> no. It's Joe. Joe. It's... <laughs> Joey, time is up. My friends, your, your attention, up. please. Runaway Cobalt, do you speak? Uh, yes. Come here. Goodbye. Closer. 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 <laughs> what is the prince's choice? Defy. Defy was not one of my options. You would defy me. Yes. Best response. Mm. Yes. I will defy right, Stranger with my very soul and being. What? You just tried to kill him. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, <laughs> Hold up. I'm, so, I'm sorry about this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Good match with bunny ears. <laughs> Chapter 5. Thank you. Huh? No. The prince shakes his head. No. He doesn't want to. The crown pushes, but he resists. He can't. He destroyed Lakeford. It was his vision, his will. He started the war, not Dacia. But, if he destroyed Lakeford, just by envisioning its destruction, then that means... Answer its call. I won't. He can feel his brother's sword at his side. He can't forget who he is. He won't forget. I'm sorry. What did you say? I won't answer its call. You won't? You refuse? 
<laughs> Foolish boy, don't you realize that you are a weapon? Weapons can't decide who dies and who lives. That is the responsibility of the wielder. The prince turns to face the Inquisitor. I wield my own power. And he closes his eyes and he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him far, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else. With all his heart, he wishes. Something shines on his eyelids, a brilliant light, and then fades. Then slowly, he opens his eyes. The prince stands on the hill, alone. He tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he cannot bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of isolation, he realizes everything that has happened, and he drops to his knees. It was me. I destroyed Lake Dwarf. I opened the earth. My vision. And that means the storm that killed my father was... He looks up. A figure stands nearby. A man in black armor. The visor lowered on his dented helmet. A Dacian soldier. The two stare at one another. Silent. Others come up the hill. More Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy. Identify yourself and explain the height. The prince looks to the helmeted Dacian who had arrived first and then back to their leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. He slowly stands and pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I am the prince of Alasrith. My friends, Please, follow me. Big Panda. <laughs> oh, DC. When did we get to the White House? house. Storm the capital of the city. Yo, what's up, man? Come at me, bro. I'm your kryptonite. <laughs> Superman. I didn't know we were in DC. Got that. All those great movies start. Washington logos, super long and dramatic logos. My friends, gather round for the story must continue. <laughs> the general stops just outside the door to a manor in Felden. The prince remains surrounded by Dacian soldiers, the helmet Dacian right behind him. I want the forest patrol day and night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the account of the to end west. Ready the siege engineers, send word to the commanders to march at dawn, and someone find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops. The soldiers stop with him. He glances back at the prince over his shoulder. 
What did you say? The Zelts are gone. I was with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. Don't just look at one another, muttering, mumbling. The general glances at his support. I... I can show you what happened. What are you doing? The prince thinks to himself. You your brother. Nobody will listen to you. And these are Dacians. They've been evading Lazarus for five years. But another voice inside him speaks up. No. They didn't start the war. And neither did Lazarus. I started the war. And I can end it. Let me go back to more of us. I will speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor, there we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can feel tension all through his body, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much. But I, I can end this war. I can. The general approaches the prince. What do you know that I don't? I... The, the Zealots, they started the war. It was a trick. What happened at Lake Fort is their fault. My mother never wanted war. My father never wanted war. We don't have to fight anymore. Because the Zealots are gone. Show me. Show me where the Zealots were. My friends, please. Follow me. Go sleep again. Uh, I'm Notre Dame? Holy shit. Is this, Harry, is this that new Hogwarts Legacy uh, game? No. Okay. This is not. This is not Notre Dame. It's a big trick. The prince's home stands tall and majestic, unscarred despite years of war. The garrison had allowed them into Moravos on hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the prince is uncomfortable. At the entrance stands a small host of knights, and in their middle is the silver Aegis, armed and armored. The general approaches with the prince, and Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs. Your mother will be glad to have you by her side again, sire, she says to the prince, and I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns to the Dacian general. I'm told you are here to talk peace with the queen. As it stands, myself and my aegises are all that remains between you and her majesty, the queen. So tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The general pulls off his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burned, and I am told they were responsible for Lakefort, acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. Dacia is willing to move past this conflict 
and as a token of trust, we return to you, your prince. And what of the eldest, the heir? The Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her hunt is still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. The Aegis looks back and forth across Dacians twice more. She is still fortress, foreboding, and immovable, shining silver from the moonlight. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains skeptical. You will understand that she has requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The General nods again. I do understand. And you will understand that I request to send at least one of my own in with the Prince, to at least confirm circumstances firsthand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine, you, come with us. She points at one of them. And Silver Aegis, the Prince, and the helmeted Dacian, and the, the palace together. My friends, please. Follow me. German. There's a lot of doors. <laughs> nice one, Pro Tag. I didn't know we were crucifying the first time. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I might need to log off and go to bed. I'm getting very Good sleepy night. here. Um, even though I'm, I, even though I'm here at the end, I, I should probably stay until the end. I should probably stay until the end, you know? We'll let you know if anything happens. <laughs> Is that Gaius? Oh, very yeah. good. Thank you for the tour trips. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm starting to sound out here. Was a little See you later, No, Kirby. no. Okay, but I still a little bit based. Rest well, Kirby. Yeah, good night, everyone. The throne room is tall, empty, and cold. Any comfort offered by the gentle moon is held by stained glass. Upon the throne sits the queen. Upon seeing her own son, she makes no movement. The silver aegis approaches and take the knee. Your Majesty. The Aegis gestures behind herself. Dacians have proven useful. The royal family is reunited. Prince. Blinks. Reunited? What if brother? The Queen says nothing. The Prince looks her from across the room at her empty eyes at her regal crown and uh, sudden pressure builds in his mind he feels the crown respond yeah it's too much he drops to all fours with a cry steel sings and the helmeted dacian draws his sword the aegis stands slowly calmly still facing the throne and draws her own sword very intentionally, the blade and hilt glimmering. But that's not her sword. That's not the Silver Aegis's sword. She pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm, unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the Aegis is engulfed. And when the Inferno dies,
the Inquisitor stands in her place. He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without warning, the helmet Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flesh of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away, and the prince's heart drops as he realizes who this Dacian is. I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor says to the Prince. You brought the Dacian general directly to me, and I suppose I must also thank your brother for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, oh, she made a perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis. No, no, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. Oh, I'm afraid it's not a lie, although, to be fair, I don't think he did intentionally, one might order a rather unfortunate sequence of events that he violently initiated. Fairness aside, there is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. and he points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of our enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom and turned his back to God, and so he must perish in divine flames. The sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. Uh, I don't care about being king, the brother says, grabbing his own weapon and struggling to his feet. I don't even care about Daisha anymore. They didn't start the war. It, it was my brother's own gift. I don't know how it works, but I do know he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be a war. He didn't want to cause the storm. <sighs> he needs help. Someone to look up to. Someone who won't leave him. <sighs> and I'm his brother, and it's my duty to look after him. <sighs> he means the world to me. I won't die for him. Do you hear me, Inquisitor? Uh, I would die for him! Oh? Really? How convenient. Time to pay the price. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of fire erupts from his fingertips blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. Discuss. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, before we discuss. Yes, yes. Shield time. So we've gone through all this before many times, and we found out that the first two correct options, at least...
Is it alliteration? Mm, time. Travel, travel. Oh, travel, travel, travel. Oh, travel. Oh, travel. Oh, travel. Oh, has expired. Boah. Protag Chan. What oh, oh. does the brother do? Sword, it's time to d -d 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 duel. The sword in a defensive or offensive manner. Oh. Uh, oh. That's no. I'm asking if he's attacking with the sword or defending with the sword. He's defending? Mm -hmm. All the way. Sure. Coming for a clash. That's what we did last time, right? I mean, you could say clash, but last time we went clash. Yeah. A clash of blades. Yeah, clash. Very well. <laughs> the brother, staying on one knee, watches carefully. For a moment, for a heartbeat, he is back in time, training with the Silver Aegis. He waits for the right moment, and when it comes, he brings the Dacian sword up, and it collides with the great blade of his enemy, and fiery sparks fly. With all his might, he pushes and he rotates, and his parry is successful. But the Dacian sword has been bent uselessly with the force of the blow. The Inquisitor lands on his feet, he and his sword both unharmed. The Inquisitor steps back, glaring down Grother on his right. He and his sword both unharmed. Wait. There's one arm heavenward, calling upon his miracle, and fire begins to gather in his palm. The prince remains paralyzed. What does the brother do? Alright. Uh, we should hide behind, behind, behind the prince. the prince, because the Inquisitor doesn't hide, hide behind, behind the prince. Hide behind the prince. Because the prince is immune to the fire. Because the prince is immune to the fire. Fire. Yes. yes. That's, our, that's our leading theory oh, right now. This is our leading theory. 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 We want to hide behind the prince. It sounds like both sides. Yeah. Hide behind the prince. Perhaps when I'm small. Yeah, I think he's about to go. Yeah. 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 Mike, it's the thing. We have to fill aside. It's gotta be in our We gotta hide. I guess on the one hand, hiding behind the brother. Disguise. 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 In his current state, the brother doesn't have time to move so far. This has been tried before. Oh that was oh, shoot. so we cannot move. Of clashing. Okay. Wait. Yes. Um, Neither. Okay. Think of something that doesn't require him to move so far or change his state. Towards the attacker. Can't move. Hold the Inquisitor again. Oh. 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 Wait, is... Is the brother, brother actually insane. turn into a shadow, then? The mother's insane. Oh mother's yeah, yeah, mother's yeah. insane. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. He's the, no, he's not the dust yeah. one. That was the oracle. It might be. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. We don't know what he can do. Brothers, you have been given enough time. I am calling upon... Equalization. Oh, boy. Oh, you got this. We're really going to get the good and the bad and then... I believe in you, Eagle. Equalization, don't ask me, tell me what he attempts. The brother uses his power to turn into a shadow. The brother uses his own divine gift. Someone's been paying attention. What? Oh! Yes! Uh, <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Because of the vision. Didn't see him. Listen to the vision. Travelers. <laughs> hmm. This is what happens. The brother is reluctant. But he swallows it. There is no more time for secrets. He closes his eyes and lets the familiar feeling float up from his feet. And darkness consumes him. He is a shadow swift and silent, and he has a few moments to reposition himself with minimal chance of the Inquisitor spotting his movements. The Inquisitor raises a brow as the Shadowborn uses his miracle of darkness. He heaves his mighty fireball up and sends it instead to a corner of the throne room, missing the brother but illuminating most of the chamber. The brother has only moments to make use of what little darkness remains in the room. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. We can use the shadow to close in. Yeah, but we could also we, wait, but we don't have a weapon. Guys. We could go to the we could go to the we could go to the prince and get our sword. The younger prince has the brother's sword. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. We, I, we, 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 need, we need to close another prince. Hold on, hold on. Because the brother was able to break out on his own. If he severed the connection between the queen, because the queen's looking at the prince correct with her own crown. If we get yeah, the crown the off the doing? queen, it might I, sever it. The brother might be able to use the sword itself. Protag. 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 I think we should yeah. just get the sword. It's, it's pretty complicated, but I think we should let's, let's just get the sword. sword. Okay, yeah. okay. We know, we know what to do. We can do this another time if we need to, yeah. When okay, okay. Puts his brother the crown, and like get he that becomes crown obsessed off of with him. it, so I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The, crown the, crown the crown is stuck. The crown is stuck. The crown is instated that it's stuck. The crown is 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 how much further can you get? How long will this duel last? Incognito. Out of respect for you being absorbed by this music, what is your choice? Uh, the brother is going to move to the prince and get his sword. Okay. Move Let's to the it. prince. Get back his sword. Simple enough, but will it work? We're gonna see. We're asking. The brother's shadow rushes toward the prince as fire and light spread. As the light reaches the prince, the inquisitor sees the brother reappear there, wielding a small but regal sword. The brother staggers away from the prince, momentarily dizzied by being forced out of his shadow. The Inquisitor lets out a short burst of laughter and leaps toward the brother's landing beside the prince. He sheathes the glimmering sword, reaches down, and with no effort lifts the incapacitated prince by his neck. Surrender, he commands. What oh, no. does the brother do? Oh. You have one minute. Call so his bluff. Uh, not to... mm. Call his damn bluff. Call, 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 call his bluff. Call his You're bluffing. I feel like this is a uh, bad ending. Fake surrender? I don't know. I don't know if my heart can take another plot twist. He can't do it. Oh, yes. Right, 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 right. Yeah. 
No, I think I think we should just stop. We should check. You're not the triggering us this time, Shank Abel. Oh, oh, all of our choices God. have been the letter S. All the yeah, choices have been the letter um, S. He's Sword, a little shield, distracted. Shadow. Maybe we could stab him. I don't know. That's true. Uh, Sheath. Uh, uh, Hair just surrender. <laughs> she is shaved. Yeah, we, we don't have a. Um, no, we do. Uh, okay, maybe um, we maybe we double down in the attack because. Because the, the Inquisitor doesn't want the brother dead. Sucker he doesn't punch, want the prince yeah. dead. <laughs> There's yeah, no he's way he's gonna hurt the brother or the prince. Oh, but yeah. like, so, exactly. But that's that's, that? a, that's the a bad intrusive. No, 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 the brother doesn't know. What do you mean? Call his bluff? Say what you want. Say it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, pretend to surrender and then go for it. Exactly. I think we should say it. Well, the power of the Inquisitor is partially based on the prince. We pretend, and then once he lowers his guard, we attack. Mm -hmm. Pretend to surrender. I don't think we can do something so like, like complex. <laughs> it's like a punch. She we either sword. attack or we or we surrender. There's no other thing we can do. Pretend to surrender. Uh, I think we, what if we? Call, I think we should attack. Call him bluff because there's no way to strike. We don't know what he's capable of. Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Oh, just just. Yes. <laughs> Grab yes. the prince well, from the Inquisitor. Well, and, you know, the, you know? What's, what's the Inquisitor going to do while we're yeah. holding the prince? That won't the hurt the uh, prince. Your time you has know. ended. There's no way, there's nothing we can do. It's the situation hard. is indeed <laughs> dire. <laughs> Therefore, it only makes sense that I am going to ask... Gio Noir. Hmm. What oh, is fun. the brother going to do? Well, uh... I say... Call his bluff and destroy the crown. Destroy the crown? Can you elaborate, please? With the sword. Which crown? And how? The, the prince's crown. Ooh. There are two crowns, there's the queen's. Yeah. You forgot about the queen. You want the <laughs> brother to attack stab. the uh. other brother's head with the sword. I don't know if I'm sure that I understand. Okay, uh, you know what? Get that. Get that. Uh, oh, get the rock. Uh, we that before, and it, That's not it, a tactic. Geo, I am pressing you That's for an answer. Pass this to the armored. What if they attack the Inquisitor? No. Fuck. <laughs> name an object uh, and name a target. Let's keep it simple. Geo, All you right. can do this. Uh, you can I believe do in you. Uh, Queen's helmet? Yeah, this, head? Yeah. No, um... Queen's uh, head. Queen's crown. Wait, wait, hold up. But, uh, wait, hold up. It's up to you. Shit, I have. Uh, no. fuck. Uh... You said queen head. What does he do queen. against the queen's head? Five. He... He throws the sword at the four, queen's... At the queen's crown three. and tries to break it. Oh, Best I can come up with. Uh... Let's see what happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my fault. What? What do you mean? Everything slows down. The brother looks at the prince dangling, alive yet consumed by the glowing crown. He looks at the Inquisitor, grinning, domineering, truly a warrior sent by God. Or by a demon from the abyss. Please. The brother looks over his shoulder. And as he turns, he pivots on one foot and throws his own sword. He throws it at his own mother. It soars across the room, blade first spiraling, and it plunges into porcelain. Clay shards go flying as a shrill shattering sound fills the tall chamber. The prince opens his eyes, the pressure eases, the queen's crown falls. She was a porcelain doll. 
Listen well, our travelers. The Inquisitor seems unperturbed. He keeps a firm hold on the prince, and in his other palm a divine fire grows once more, ready to end the prince's life. However, though the prince is restrained, both brothers can act. You must all decide what both brothers will do together. You have two minutes. Oh, oh shit. Let's go. Okay, okay, I think the prince has to use the Lucidian pendant. The I think it has to come into place. Yeah, we do the Lucidian pendant. Destroy. 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 That's Does the okay. pendant do that? Can we try do that? that. I mean, whenever he pulls it, it and has a brother the brother the brother the brother are dispelled. Yeah, yeah, bare yes. minimum, the prince has got to use the pendant here. Right, right, right. Brother, the brother the distracts, yeah. yeah. prince uses the pendant. Remember, brother distracts, prince uses the pendant. I mean, maybe it's just a comfort thing for him that I... It's a comfort thing, who knows? I don't know, divine power can be well so easily by here. We gotta find out what they can do. Can you do it's a holy artifact, though. No, like, the right like it would also hold yeah. importance to the Inquisitor as well because of Lodicia. Yeah, so. Brother yeah. Strax, I, I Princess think, uses the pendant. Think making contact what do you think, Damon? With, the, with the pendant on the Inquisitor is what the Prince should do. Alright. And then the yeah, brother the should the run distract. up to him with the sword. Yeah. But well, the brother doesn't have the sword anymore. Yeah. He doesn't have oh, it anymore. Oh, you're, you're right. right. Well, well, he needs to get it. We could go try to get it. We could try to get it. We could go get Wait, we could go try to grab the prince as the brother. The brother can go try to catch the prince. Oh, yeah. Try to lift him up to make it so he's less choked. Yeah. Yeah. Or just grab him. He needs to distract so the prince can do the thing. Yep. Fair. But he can distract by closing the gap. Prince pendant. Brother distract, Prince Pendant. He can't do anything right brother now. Can... Well, the brother can... Because if he closes the distance, the Fireborn might just use a sword on him. Because he still has his sword. That's fine. Well, okay. No, well, no, the one hand has fire, one hand has the prince. fire miracle. Yeah, mm -hmm. the fireborn. Yeah, that's what's going Fuck. on right fireball. now. Well, he still needs to be distracted so the prince can do it. Pretty tight. Right? Travelers. Oh, uh, Jacob, the gun has been loaded. Your time. Has expired. I have given you more than enough time to master this battle plan. No, that's a joke. You're going to struggle through this, however long it takes. I am going to call <laughs> upon. Jamad, do you have a plan? Uh oh. <laughs> the prince, oh if he's able, is going to reach for his Lutician pendant and push, like hold it and push it up against the Inquisitor. And then the brother is going to run in, in and... <sighs> Give me a few words. Distract. 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 Yeah, the brother will distract. <laughs> and the brother will run up 
to the Inquisitor and tr try to, like, keep him pr yeah, stop him from being choked. <laughs> the brother is going to attempt to free the prince, and the prince is going to draw the pendant and press it or use it against the Inquisitor. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Mm. Either it's, oh boy. Either it's right here. Heart's pounding. It can go either way. <laughs> well, at least we know how to get this. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> We've all gotten an entire oh. circle this is dragged on. <laughs> I just wish I didn't. The brother the runs at the Inquisitor. He jumps at the tall man and grabs at the giant fist around his brother's neck. And he pulls and he tries with all his strength to free his own younger brother. And at the same time, the prince pulls out the Lydician pendant, ever present, ever comforting. And he presses its metal surface against his enemy's body. will not die for only by Varna's will would he find death the inquisitor's hand closes around the prince's neck the brother screams his lungs burn and his heart breaks Oh. The Inquisitor turns the fire instead to the brother, unleashing a torrent of unearthly flame that fills the room with unbearable light and deafening noise. We should have used a miracle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. The prince and the brother have both been killed by the Inquisitor. Oh. Thus, their story ends, for no suitable vessel remains to witness the uncertain fate of the kingdom of Lazarus in this timeline. My dear friends, my clever travelers, close, but not close enough. Welcome to Bad Ending C. Oh, ah. I see oh wow. What you did there. The Inquisitor is not Great story. Yeah, he's not laughing. My friends, my friends. For those who are new here, there will be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen, so please remain here while the tour guides realign our ether. If you would like to take a group photo to commemorate this momentous occasion, please do so here and now. Us tour guides will line up in case you want to include us. But we will be absent for just a minute, and after you take the photo, Sheen will deliver his announcements. Well, you can get out a lot. Oh my god! 
amazing. No. I have to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense that the queen is an imposter. It was, yeah. it was, it was insane. It was, inc it was, it was insane, but it was beautiful at the same time. Weeks ago. Weeks ago. Correct. You. You fellow beautiful the moment oh, to open. Oh. Well, thank you. Yeah, we, we finally uh, once again, Amy plays with us, just out in the open. Shadow and Dolls. Hey, good. No, holy crap, it makes sense, because in the first vision, the Briar was shown to be an elk, and he wasn't the same in the other. He was a shadow. shadow. Why would they be hey. both different? Exactly. Photos? Taking pictures, by the way. He's the Shadowborn. Yes, could you find Pluto. Pluto? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Or for more than like, I mean, like, it'll, it'll be like eight or something. Something. So what do we do next? What what happens next? Oh that's what we got to figure out. Too much of that right now. This is yep. next week. It's got to be the monster. They burn his life. Paid off. Ah. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sweet, you're so getting a break next week. Maybe the done prince done can extinguish. A no. Okay. Well, we messed it up. So... She, she and all of his <laughs> things will be every two or first try. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she, 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 she has, has a lot of faith in us. Well, she, we I think she has too much faith in us. Right, honestly, I think that's it. I forgot how to Santa Claus. Who's robotic? My enemy of the gods. Yes. Bring the storm. Unsheath the sword, bring the stone, and snake the guy. Hey, robotics. In the right moment, army he's... I haven't been called on in the prince doesn't have to say answer anything. Nonsense, I believe. Is it the brother? Yeah, the brother. The brother. Grabbed. So the brother used the Dacian sword, used the Dacian shield, used the... Um, used the shadow miracle, grabbed the sword from the brother, threw it at the porcelain, uh... Uh, just mm -hmm. queen. Yeah, the queen. Queen. Oh, no. uh, your pack robotic. Never mind. Yeah. We, uh, we tried to rush in and you know take the the prince mm -hmm. off, and that didn't work. Yep. That was the order of right. right. The I don't well, it was it was the we take well, it was it was the shield. Yeah, yeah. 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 The brother can take the sword and the take it to the prince. Might be too heavy, but we can take it. Needs to go on the the shield quite explicitly. Yeah, yeah, no, the prince, the prince, yes. so, so the prince can go on the, the offense, prince needs and I think the brother, listening. I think the brother definitely needs to stay on the offense as well, but, uh, that's a good, uh, I forget who just said My that, question. but that's a good, it's, it's shield, or sword, the back, the brother. can use his miracle your again, so soon. To the brother. We chat later? The brother. I, I think he can, um, what I, what I think probably is gonna, like, what I think probably should, should, um, what should, what we should do is that the, pr is the brother, uh, should rush for the Inquisitor's sword, Okay. Cool. and the prince should use, like, a water miracle or something. Right. He's panned oh. yeah. <sighs> We don't know if that'll stop. Or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, true. Oh, wait, 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 the brother, the brother has wished like, the Inquisitor not there before. The brother could wish to be free. Yeah, I mean, the prince could wish to be free. I didn't want to say that. I'm curious. Did you have to come over and tell us? We don't know why. Oh, I think I think the whole spot is going to be in the middle of the world. I think the whole is going to be in the the whole spot is going to be in the middle of the world. Wonderful one. Please travelers, your attention please. Before I give my announcements, and before we congratulate ourselves, yes, please put your hands together for the wonderful performance of Trajum, the tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> Great story. Mm.
Thank you, Tree Jim, for another wonderful, inspiring performance. Who did that? My friends. We are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. And my friends, I cannot tell you how much fun we have together thinking about what you're going to feel when this story goes live, when our stories go live. And we do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord community if you have not already. There you can post pictures you took from today's tour or discuss with other travelers about what you think is really going on and how to reach that ever elusive good ending. Elusive. Finally. Finally, travelers, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us continue to be a bright spot in this world, please continue to join. Consider to join our Patreon. It is only $3 per month, and joining grants you eligibility to play character roles in our tours, like the NPCs that you saw today. It also grants you access to our private Discord channel in the server, where we post lots of behind-the-scenes footage of our projects. It also helps us with the commissions that we use for our projects, and the many other talents that, besides us three tour guides, uh, are involved in everything that we do. The link to our Patreon can be found in the info channel of our Discord, and the link to our Discord can be found behind footage. It's Discord server, the usual, slash VRT. My friends, thank you, and congratulations to you. We certainly did not expect you to make it this far today. We're so close. So, so you don't have close. Faith. You don't have faith. Okay, all right, we gotta expose it. They never said that. It was implied. It was implied. Well then, my friends, in a few minutes, I'll open a portal. I'll open a portal to the after party. And we do have a few things to discuss there, so if you have time, please stop by for a short while. We'll remain here for a few more minutes. Until then, travelers, the floor is yours. Mm -hmm.